Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Onika and we are back with another video about the wellness wheel. This video will be about physical wellness. In the last video, we talked about nutritional wellness and you'll see that physical wellness and nutritional wellness are very much interlinked. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it, discussing what is physical wellness. Um, how to improve your physical wellness and then i just like to give just a quick personal story about challenges i faced in this area and how i improved it so what is physical wellness physical wellness is all about the movement of your body and how you treat your body the things that you put into your body um if you're choosing to get adequate sleep and rest your body all of that goes into physical wellness. So things such as smoking and alcohol abuse and choosing not to sleep and instead work or stay up all night looking at social media, the, these are things that are going to affect your physical wellness in a negative way. Um, it's really important for us to have good physical wellness because this is, I mean, this is our body. Um, if you're not moving, if you're not maintaining your muscles, if you're not resting your body after a long day, and if you're not putting nutritious things in your body, it's not going to perform well. It's not going to feel well. Um, it's going to hinder you in other areas of your life and impact other areas of wellness. Obviously, nutritional wellness, social wellness, um, uh, potentially emotional wellness, occupational all of those things, if your body, if you're not treating your body right, and if it's not moving and feeling well, that can impact a lot of areas of your well-being. So what are some ways that you can improve physical wellness? I'm sure the obvious way you're thinking is to move more, especially if you live a sedentary life. Um, movement could be anything, as I'm sure you know. So walking is an easy way to get movement in your body, strength training, dancing, yoga, um, all of those things. Intentional movement is key. Um, but also just doing movement throughout the day. So you're cleaning, choosing to take the stairs instead of the elevator. Those are important ways of increasing your physical wellness and prioritizing it. Um, also, as far as putting nutritious things in your body, you want to go back to that nutritional wellness and make sure that you're getting your protein and your um, healthy fats and carbs fiber and things like that. You also want to drink alcohol in moderation. If you are a smoker or someone who has issues with substance abuse, I definitely suggest and recommend reaching out to someone for assistance with that um, to be able to stop smoking and stop substance abuse because it's just going to negatively impact your uh, body and other illness other areas of your wellness, there aren't any benefits of um, those things. Uh, so those are the, some ways that you can improve your physical wellness. Um, the other thing I forgot to mention is sleep. You really want to make sure that you're prioritizing sleep. Just setting some boundaries in a good nighttime routine so that you can get your seven hours of sleep. It's so important to rest your body and rest your mind so that you can wake up feeling refreshed um, all of the information that you learned the day before, you can retain it and be able to do whatever you need to with your job or whatever it is the next day. Um, you don't want to feel sluggish and all of that, which, you know, eating too much, moving too little, drinking too much alcohol and smoking can do all of that to your physical wellness, feeling sluggish and just not good. Um, and I think we all want to feel good. So moving on to just kind of a personal story. As you know, I was overweight. I did not move a lot when I was younger. I hated physical fitness because I was overweight. It was just very hard for me to move and kind of embarrassing because I, I was so young and I mean, I was barely able to run a mile. It took me almost 18 minutes to run, really walk a mile at just gosh, how old was I, 14, 15 years old? Um, for me, it was embarrassing because I was just overweight. I just had a bad relationship with food. I ate a lot. I didn't have any disability. I just 
had a poor relationship with food. Um, and when I began to lose weight, it helped motivate me to want to move more. I'm like, I want to treat my body well. I want to be stronger. And so I went to the gym. I took group classes. I really tried to focus on finding something that I enjoyed. And I really liked indoor cycling. Nowadays, I really like strength training and just feeling so strong and seeing my muscles grow and seeing my weights increase. I, I Okay, so I got cut off there, but pretty much I wanna say that I have been able to really improve my physical wellness. Just getting out there, it is scary, especially if you are not used to moving your body, especially moving your body in front of other people. But I will say it was the best decision that I made to improve my nutritional and physical wellness. It really impacted obviously those two dimensions of wellness, but also other areas of my life. So I hope you found this video informative about physical wellness. Again, I will put the um, statements of physical wellness in the description box and you can read through them and get a better idea of how well you're doing in this area of wellness. Um, stay tuned for more videos about the other dimensions of the wellness wheel. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.